Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be, she said to work on your communication. I got an email here actually from one of the guys I've been coaching. I've been coaching him for a little over a year. And basically when I first started working with him, he knew this girl that he really wanted, really liked. He'd been friends with her for about three years, and she had a, they were kind of like acquaintances. I guess they worked together at the same company. She was dating some other guy. And so through my coaching and obviously his diligent and proper applying of what I teach in my book, he was able to get her. And I've been coaching him for, like I said, a little over a year now, and everything's been great. And we had a coaching session about a week or so ago, and then I get this email from that it, something's going on. You can tell she's a little more distant, and then she came right out and told him the other day and while they were talking on Skype that he needed to work on his communication, but she didn't elaborate. And what happens to, because you know, I obviously know this guy, I've been talking to him for quite a bit, and I have warned, warned him about things that will happen because when you fall in love everything's great and rosy and then about six months a year later that initial infatuation and the newness wears off and you kind of get used to each other you start to learn what her idiosyncrasies are like she starts to learn what yours are like because you know, really for the first 90 days of any relationship basically both people are putting their best foot forward and you don't really get a re people can basically mask who they really are for about the first 90 days of a relationship and then it starts to come out who they really are and what all guys do is that they'll be great for a while and they start getting lazy they get complacent and not putting their best foot forward anymore they're not so eager to return her texts or to be loving and sweet to her where they might have been a few weeks or a few months earlier when things were still a little newer and so this is where you, know, you get into, you've got to obviously show a woman that you care through your actions. It's basically what you got, got her to fall in love with you is the same thing that you use to get her to stay in love with you. And that's by properly dating and courting her. Because a lot of guys, the biggest mistake that I see men making in their long-term relationships with their wives or their girlfriends, the women that they live with or whatever is that they stop dating and courting her. And as I've said before, it's like if you don't date your girlfriend or wife, some other guy eventually will. And so for a woman, if things happen or you say something and it hurts her feelings and she becomes a little colder, a little more distant, the way a woman looks at it is if, if you really care and you can tell that she's being distant, then you're going to dig and figure out what's really going on even when she says there's nothing wrong I and mean, when you can tell that there's something wrong and she says there's nothing wrong that's when you really gotta dig because to a woman her attitude is if he really cares about me he's gonna wanna find out what's wrong he he'll be persistent until I give in and tell him what's what's going on so I'm gonna read this fairly uh, quick email here to you because he brings up some good points he says Coach, I hope all is well. Thank you for continuing with the articles. I look forward to them. You're welcome. I have something on my mind about my girlfriend. She went to England this past weekend. She met up with many friends, two of which are women that are good friends of hers. There were some dudes. One of the nights, her single friend invited a guy to hang out with them, and he brought his friend. At one point, it was my girlfriend, her friend, and these two dudes. She was out dancing until 3 a.m. She has done this before. I don't express it to her, but I have an insecurity with this. I know through your teachings that she will get hit on, and I need to, to get over any insecurity I have with that. This is my shit to deal with, and I will gladly work on it. That's the proper attitude to have, because the bottom line, if you do everything right, and she still cheats on you, there's nothing you can do about it. Just unfortunately, there are some women out there that have no integrity, and the line between cheating and just a friend thing is is pretty blurred. I've dated women like this, and it's no fun because you always got to end up sleeping with like one eye open. So, but I don't think that's the case. Obviously, with with his girlfriend, she seems like a pretty pretty good woman. He says, "I am insecure because I feel like I'm failing to maintain." Her level of interest and I'd say that's your spidey sense tingling because you, you can tell you can tell when she backs away and and she's not trying as hard he says it has less to do with her being out late dancing 
there are less I miss yous from her. She used to call me more, text more, etc. She never texts me goodnight anymore. And I would say that's because her interest level is dropping and you're obviously, you know something's up and you can feel her backing away. Many times over the past month, I did not respond right away to her texts. I did not pick up the phone when I was busy. I almost always end the conversation first, which that's good because you always want to leave them wanting more. I have a tendency to be more of a cold fish than smothering, which could be just as bad. Yeah, if you're a cold fish and a dick and she's sweet to you and you just kind of eh, you just kind of brush it off like it's nothing or worse. I mean, I I've had situations when I was younger where I was just was stressed off, stressed out from the day. My girlfriend would call being all sweet and I was just kind of a dick to her. I just really didn't want to talk to her. I was kind of annoyed. And then like the next day, I didn't hear from her. And then the day after that, I didn't hear from her. And then I knew something was up because she always called me two or three times to the day. And then all of a sudden, she stops calling me. That's her, this particular girl, that was her way of communicating that something was wrong. And she would just purposely do things to fuck the relationship up or figure, oh, well, I'm just not calling him and so he can figure out something's wrong. And that was her, that's not a healthy way to go about it either. Obviously, an adult, a woman who knows how to communicate like an adult is going to call you and say, honey, this really hurt me when you were really rude and short with me on the phone yesterday and it really bothered me. She wouldn't just stop calling she tell me it was something wrong, and those. Are, but not all women are like that. You know, some women are not great communicators, and you have to make up for their lack of being a good communicator. <clears throat> so he says. Uh, he says that this may be hurting her or something else. I don't know. I'm always busy with work or fixing something in the house or working out. I get immersed in that kind of stuff. The other truth is that when we chat at the end of the day, conversation's always the same. How was your day? How was work? How was your workout? I can't wait to see you, etc. I don't mind it, but I think she might. What you got to understand is women, when a guy becomes predictable and boring, I mean, you got to remember, they're like cats. And so if you become boring, they're going to find other things to become interested in. This, uh, he says, I'm always, he says, as long as you know, she is always typing away when we're on the phone, checking her mail, Facebook, that kind of thing. Women are great multitaskers, but when you're talking on Skype and she's doing three or four other things, that would lead me to believe that there's probably, especially if she didn't used to do that, that the conversation is really not that stimulating to her and so she's just not being fully present and you're going along with it because you can, you know, obviously something's up, you know she's not fully present, now she's doing other things when you guys are talking so that should be a red flag that she's becoming a little colder and a little more distant. I did not express this to her in the phone coaching session that we had the other day but I should have. I mean I can only help you with the things you tell me about dude. My concerns over this past weekend prompted my concerns. She did mention yesterday that I need to work on my communication, but I could not get her to elaborate. That's because women feel if you care that you're going to dig and you're going to want to find out why she meant what, you know, what it was that she really meant. But obviously you just kind of brushed it off and so she went about it and she probably felt like, well, I guess he really doesn't care or he doesn't think it's that important to him. He says, tonight she texted me that she got home. I was busy and didn't text right away. Then she called me and I was on my way to the hardware store. Said I would be back in a half hour. I got back 45 minutes later and Skyped her. No answer. Texted her. No response. Called her and she answered and she said she was watching a movie. I said, call me back. She did and then we talked, but I could not get her to laugh. So what you got to see here is that She's not taking the time. Normally, she would have waited for you, but now she's just kind of like, ah, fuck it, I'm going to watch a movie. I'm not going to wait on him. And it may communicate that she's a little irritated with you because whereas before, she'd make herself available because she wanted to talk to you, and now it's really not that big a deal. So obviously, she can tell that you're no longer putting your best foot forward, and I can tell you've gotten lazy and you've gotten complacent because we've talked about this in our past few coaching sessions. And so what you need to do is you need to get to the bottom of it. You need to say honey I can tell you're distant you're not texting me as much you're no longer saying goodnight anymore and so I mean obviously there's a bit of a wall between us and you know that bothers me and so obviously maybe I've done something 
or said something. And I mean, you mentioned the other day that when we were talking that I need to be a better communicator. And what do you mean by that? You got to, you got to ask her, you got to pull it out of her. And for a woman, if she feels that if you really love her and you really care about her, you're going to break down her barriers and find out what's going on and that you're not going to be satisfied until she speaks and she communicates and she starts to talk and open up about what's going on, what's on her mind, that kind of thing. Because obviously you haven't been willing to do it. And if you're not willing to do it, she figures, oh, well, he just doesn't care. And the longer this goes on, the more of an emotional wall you're going to build in between the two of you and your relationship. So you got to figure out, say, tell me more, don't leave anything out, those kinds of things. I've got some links here to some other articles that are similar that will help remind you of the techniques that you should be using to get her to open up to you. So if you find this message of value, you can show your appreciation by going down to the Wibby toolbar, which is at the bottom of your screen if you're watching this video on my website. Click the PayPal Donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information in this video. At the very least, please share this page with all your friends and family by clicking any one of the social network sharing buttons, which are also located in the Wibby toolbar at the bottom of your screen. And if you have a question that you'd like to ask me or there's a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, click the Contact Me tab on the left-hand side of your screen and send me three or four paragraphs detailing your situation and just give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the internet. And if you want to talk to me right away and book a paid phone coaching session with me personally so I can help you with your specific situation, click the Products tab at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions. And I will talk to you soon.